start by welcoming everyone. Thank you for being here, braving some of the weather. I know on Centerpoint's side, we were hoping to have a few others from our headquarters in Chicago, but something about doors falling off of planes and um, weather in New Jersey kept them from coming, uh, but the party will go on. Um, I am truly excited to be here today to cut the ribbon on this new facility. Uh, I was actually looking at my calendar and it was exactly 14 months ago that we were right outside here celebrating the groundbreaking for this facility. And today we get to stand here and hand the keys to Coda Logistics for the facility that we're standing in here today. This building also completes a vision that was started by Mayor Armstrong's uh, administration in 2018 when they adopted a redevelopment plan for the property. Many of you may know this is the former site of a functionally obsolete 250,000 square foot retail center formerly anchored by Walmart. Uh, today it is the home to a 320,000 square foot class A state of the art industrial distribution center that is estimated to generate five times the municipal taxes that it did in 2021. So I think it's a great outcome for Linden, great outcome for Coda, and obviously excited to see this building complete here today. A project like this does not come together without having a great team. A couple of folks I'd like to specifically thank. KSS Architects, Scott, Alicia, who I know can't be here, Thank you for proving once again that an industrial building can really look good. Um, Langen Engineering, uh, Dan, who I know couldn't be here, Kristen, Brian, thank you for coming up with a site plan that had the parking, the circulation that tenants today want. I promise you that was one of the main reasons Coda is here today, so thank you. Uh, KBC Advisors, Mike Kimmel, where are you? Uh, I know we would not be here without you, your professionalism, and your persistence. Uh, got this deal over the goal line, so thank you. Um, Cushman and Wakefield, Jules and Steve, thank you uh, for the guidance along the way. Getting this one over the goal line without you guys would not have been possible. Uh, and of course, R.C. Anderson and Jay Purdy, uh, Centerpoint's very own for building this incredible building that we're in here today. I'd also like to specifically thank Mayor Armstead and his administration for working with us throughout this entire process. And, and for being a municipality that's truly a pleasure to work in. Lastly, I'd like to specifically thank Marie Costa of Coda Logistics. Thank you for seeing the vision. Thank you for seeing the vision that we saw when we first planned this building and when we designed it and ultimately for deciding to make this your new home. Uh, I know I am excited about the idea of handing the keys to a company that was not only founded right here in New Jersey, but that continues to expand right here in New Jersey. So with that, I'd like to welcome up Marie Costa of Coda Logistics. For those that may not know me, speaking is not part of me, but here I am. First, I'd like to welcome to go to logistics, welcome everyone to go to logistics ribbon cutting ceremony and open house. This is a grand celebration. I, I am delighted to have every opportunity to share, um, have this opportunity to share with all of you. I'd like to give a humble thank you to our partners that have joined us today and to those that could not make the event today. I know they are all here in spirit. I'd like to also give recognition to our landlord and the entire center point team. Kudos to Noreen Gallery for coordinating the entire event, leaving no stone unturned. Thank you. Mayor Armstead, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and being with us here today. Unbeknown to most of you, I started my career here in Linden in 1980. Who knew 44 years later I would come back home again? So thank you again for your, the warm embrace. The foundation of a good business model, I believe, is built on trust, respect, and relationships. Each is a key fundamental and to, each is a key fundamental of a successful business, and without those characteristics, 
one may not exist. Over the last four years, I've witnessed this company go from a thought to a vision and then reality. In that short time, we endured COVID, which brought us the unknown and the highest increase of volume in the history of logistics to the lowest volume since pre-COVID. Yet we continue to persevere. We do that each and every day. We do that each and every, we do that because each and every one of our CODA team shares a passion, a passion to rise to the occasion, a passion to strive in good times and or in bad, a thirst to not only care for their well-being, but to the success of our valued clients. The supply chain involves so many moving parts, so many entities to move cargo from point A to point B, from the manufacturer to the shipper, to the forwarder, to the MBO, to the steamship line, then to perhaps to a warehouse like ours, involving customs house brokers, truckers, and finally the ultimate consignee to eventually all of us as the consumer. We deal with so many variables in our everyday work life yet I continue to be amazed at the determination of our team. To overcome all and any obstacles that come their way, they do this simply for one reason, they care. To our CODA family, most might say without our customers, we may not exist. I say without our CODA family, none of us would be here today. Not our clients, not Centerpoint, or Mayor Armstead. Together, let's embrace new beginnings and craft fresh ideas for all the years to come, because today we are all one family. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Welcome up, Mayor Armstead. Good afternoon, everyone. First, let me thank you all for coming out this afternoon. Let me thank Centerpoint for uh, sharing a vision with us here in Linden, and um, CODA for coming to Linden. I want you all to know that today you've written another page in the history of this town, and that page is centered around tax reduction and being able to keep people in their homes here in Linden. Uh, several years ago when I first became mayor, I said, our administration is gonna be about one thing. That's going to be about making sure that people can afford to live in this town. And I'm proud to say that we've had seven years of tax reduction in this town. I don't think anybody else in the state can say that. We're very serious about the business of redeveloping. Um, and some call me a Republican. Okay, but we're very serious about making sure that our municipal taxes are spent wisely. We're very concerned about the developments that come in our town. We put a lot of work, a lot of energy, a lot of time into making sure that these type of projects come into existence. Um, I could not do this if I didn't have a good staff. Uh, I have Alex Laspinosa, he's my chief of staff, uh, and he's my economic development person. Uh, he works very closely with uh, Rebecca Kearns Totoli. She is my uh, administrative assistant in the office, and she is a, a, the secretary of the LEDC, Lennon Economic Development Corporation. Uh, I have council members who support almost everything that I try to achieve in this town. Uh, Barry Javik is one. He's the second ward councilman. He's here today. Unfortunately, the rest of the council members could not be here. But um, I'm very grateful, very fortunate that I have people who work with me and understand our vision. Um, in closing, I'll just say one more thing. There's two important things with regards to lowering taxes in town. Number one, you have to want to lower them. The second thing is that when you receive this additional money in tax revenues, you can't go out and hire your cousin Jethro <laughs> to be the top rocket scientist in the town, especially if he knows nothing about rockets. You're going to have a failed rocket program, you're going to be raising taxes, and people are going to start saying, what the heck are you doing, Armstead? So we've taken the good things that you have to do in government to move our town forward, and that is creative development. Um, and keep in stabilizing property taxes to make sure that people can stay here. Thank you all for having me. Thank you all for coming to Linden. And as we say, leave it to Linden. We would have, this property remained as it was, we would receive $11.8 million over 30 years. 
by having this development here, uh, we have $22 million. We've almost doubled the tax revenues by having this development occur. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about responsible development, things that are going to bring revenues into the town and, again, keep our homeowners uh, from being taxed at their property. Once again, thank you, and let's cut that ribbon. <laughs>